By watching this video and following up on the information it provides, you will learn how to make an inexpensive DC model train power pack for either single or dual cab operation. Of most importance, before jumping in to build something, you really should see the result of your planned efforts and how it works. So the focus of this video is to show the operation of the power pack and additionally, if you think it works well, it gives you detailed instructions on how to make one. More specifically, let's look at what is in this video. In the video itself, we have a demonstration of the power pack working. This is something you really want to look at. But then below the video, we got some very important information. We show you how to build a single and two dual cab power pack, where to get the parts, and then how to wear your layout for two cab operation. Then there's a link to our tutorial portal for train enthusiasts. And finally, we give you links to kits, circuit boards, and many tutorials on DC train automation. So let's get on with the demonstration. This shows the operation of the DIY power pack on a test board. I have two versions of the power pack. This controls a single track and this is dual cab. We have a 12 volt, two and a half amp power supply coming in. This is the load side. The load side goes over. There's some clips on this test track. This, of course, is the circuit breaker. I have the speed control down to zero. I have two engines, one on each track. I'm going to control this engine right now. So first thing I'm going to do is choose a direction. This direction will drive this locomotive this way. Uh, now as I increase the voltage the speed you can see the LED changes with direction. I can stop it, bring it forward, I can bring it all the way up in speed. It's that simple. It works great. Now, what I'm going to do now is just move over to two tracks. I first switch the power supply. This is a 12 volt power supply again. And then I now have two tracks hooked up. We're in neutral position and everything is at minimum. Let's turn on one engine and bring the power up. Get the other one on. There we go. Control two. That's simple. Works like a champ. Of course, there's circuit breakers on each side. And that's two two engines. Two, two beautiful engines my, out of my antique collection. Now, if you want either of these links to them, uh, the kits are below the video. If you have questions, ask me in the comments section, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 